Hello, this is Frank Neely from HeartlandDiaryUSA.com, bringing you news every conservative can use. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date. We're in day three of the impeachment scam hearings, and uh, Council Caster for the Republicans has just been uh, talking to Mr. Morrison about his uh, experience with the semi-whistleblower Alex Vindman. Uh, Vindman uh, had uh, gone to the uh, NSC lawyers to say he was unhappy with President Trump for his uh, 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 how he handled the call with President Zelensky of the Ukraine. Uh, in this case, Mr. Castor is getting Morrison to describe uh, some of his concerns about Vindman, and in particular Vindman's judgment based on what he was told by his predecessor, Fiona Hill, and... Uh, You'll notice that Morrison's lawyer says uh, it's not relevant. Uh, I'm hoping it is going to come back in the test uh, in the questioning of the Republican congressman, uh, because clearly the judgment of Alex Vindman is central to the entire impeachment proceeding. Uh, you can listen and uh, judge for yourself. You indicated in your deposition that um, when you took over the portfolio uh, for Dr. Hill, July 15th, uh, you were alerted to potential issues in Colonel Vindman's judgment? Yes. Um, did she relay anything specific to you, specifically to you? Why she thought that? Not, not as such. It was more of an overarching statement from her and... Um, her deputy, who became my deputy, that um, they had concerns about judgment. Okay. Um, did, did any other NSC personnel raise concerns with you about Mr. Vindman? Yes. Or, I'm sorry, Colonel Vindman. Um, and what were some of those concerns that were brought to your attention? There were... I'm sorry, we, we are not going to... Uh, I'm going to instruct him not to answer. Talk about it. I'm going to instruct him not to answer because I think that it's uh, it's beyond the scope of uh, of what you're asking for. These these concerns, Mr. Castor, uh, predated any uh, involvement in, with Ukrainian six, sector assistance. Um, well, during the deposition, I asked you, Mr. Morrison, whether others raised a concern that Mr. Uh, Colonel Vindman may have leaked information. You, you, you did ask that, yes. Yeah, and your answer was? Uh, others have represented that, yes. Okay. Um, and I asked you whether you were concerned Colonel Vimmon uh, did not keep you in the loop at all times w w with his official duties? Yes. Um, and in fact, when he went to the National Security Council lawyers following the July 25th call, he did not first come to you, is that correct? Correct. And you were his um, supervisor in the chain of command, correct? Correct. And in hindsight, did you w wish that he had come to you first before going to the lawyers? Yes. Uh, and why is that? One, if, if he had concerns about something about the content of the call, that's something I would have expected to have been notified of. I, I also think just as a matter of practice, since we both went to the lawyers, we didn't necessarily both need to, and uh, economy of effort may have prevailed. Okay. Um, at any point... Subsequently, did he become frustrated that he felt cut out of some some of the Ukraine portfolio? Yes. Um, and what was the nature of his concerns? Well, he, I think the easiest way to say it is he was concerned with respect to, for example, the Ukraine trip uh, that he was not, uh, um, he did not go. Um, he asked me why uh, it was my practice to have uh, a number of the conversations with Ambassador Taylor one-on-one. -on -one. Um, there were certain other matters. Okay. Um, and did you ever get the sense that you resolved his concerns, or did they linger? I, I, I explained to him my thinking, and that was that. Okay. Okay. Um, 